Did your midterm exams didn't go you planned? Maybe you have put 100% efforts, but still the results weren't as expected. Maybe you lost your focus somewhere along the way. But don't worry, your, this one exam will not define your entire journey. Every topper you see today has faced one such exam that completely went wrong. But what made them different is what they did next. So if you are also ready to turn your, this setback into a massive comeback, then stay with me. Because in this video, I'm going to share a seven step strategy that will help you to rise from your midterm disaster and score brilliantly in your final exams. So let's start rewriting your story from regrets to results. So first of all, what we have in today's video. First of all, you need to acknowledge what has happened, okay? Next, I will discuss the seven step strategy. I'll tell the final motivation. We will summarize whatever we have done and then I'll give you some smart resources for your preparation. Let's get started. First of all, it is very important to acknowledge, to understand, to accept what has happened here, right? So first of all, it is okay that if your midterm didn't go the way you planned, that is absolutely fine because we still have time to rectify our mistakes. We still have time to work hard, to put efforts and change the final results, right? So don't worry, everyone faces the setback, but what makes you different is what you do after this. So please, first of all, analyze, understand that midterm has gone bad. Don't blame anyone, just take this responsibility that whatever result was happened, that is because of you only, you were responsible for that. Take this responsibility and take a oath here that you will put your efforts 100%, 200% for the next uh, months and get brilliant results in your final exam. If you are ready to do this, please comment down and tell me hashtag 100% efforts. This one is the commitment that I need right now from all of you, from all the students watching this video, where you are ready to give yourself, to burn yourself, to just put down everything now onwards for the next, till the next four to five months to get brilliant results. That commitment is required first of all. Now let's move forward of talking to this seven step strategy. So the first thing that we need to know is to analyze our mistakes. I want all of you to check your midterm paper properly, question by question, and just write down why you did that mistake. For example, in question number one, you did a mistake. You, uh, you got wrong that question, you didn't get full marks. So what was the mistake there? You forgot the concept. You did not understand the concept. You did not read the question properly. You did a calculation mistake. So whatever you think, why you did, you haven't read that concept at all. It is out of the syllabus. Whatever is the reason, just write down, okay? So remember, it is very, very important. You cannot fix what you don't acknowledge. If you don't know what is your mistake, how are you going to fix it? So please, first of all, analyze your mistakes and note down, okay? This is very important. After you have analyzed, so just you would have got marks in different subject. So whichever subjects you are getting a decent mark or by analyzing your mistakes, you could have think that, okay, if these things I was knowing, if I could have been little more cautious, little more careful, I could have make it to 60 plus, for example. So put those subjects in average. Those subjects which were completely disaster, you have not read any concepts, you have done very, very fundamental mistakes there, please put down in the weak subjects. And those subjects which you have scored decent, keep them in the uh, strong subjects. So like this, you have to make a list of three types, strong, average, and weak. So, okay, you have to just put down your subjects under this after verifying your mistakes, right? This is done. Let's move to step two, make a recovery plan. After we have understood our mistakes, now it's time to take action. What are the things you have to plan? You have to plan the short-term goals, means 
at least for next 30 to 45 days you have to make a plan what all things you are going to do okay what all things you need to change in your habits what all things you need to incorporate in your daily life so that you can be up to date in your study for example you have to first create a daily realistic timetable where you can do at least two to three hours of focused study slots okay so i want this number to increase from two to three to four to five actually but again you have colleges tuitions transportation so so many things are there so maximum i will recommend at least three to four hours of self-study you have to dedicate okay next allocate more time to weak subjects and chapters so wherever which subjects you have completely done like basic fundamentals are not clear please try to work on those chapters first okay next Keep one revision day every week. Every Sunday, half a day is dedicated completely for the revision. Okay. Example, if you have lost marks in chemistry numericals, spend 30 minutes daily practicing them. So whichever for this one, this one, allocate more time for your week subject. So let me just give an example. Suppose you are studying four hours a day. Okay. You have found out four hours a day. Here you have to dedicate one hour for your strong subject. 1.5 hours for the average subject and 2 hours for your weak subject okay not 2 here you can just make it like 1 hour uh, we are uh, left with 1.5 right so 2.5 is already over you have more 1.5 so yeah 1.5 hour you can dedicate for weak subject okay so like this you have to plan and in this weak subject, okay, what was your mistake? If calculations, numerical questions were your mistake, focus on them. If you are not able to remember mechanisms, for example, in chemistry, then devote time for mechanisms. If you are not able to remember the name reactions, organic chemistry, then that extra 30 minutes you have to plan for that particular part where you are weak at. Now let's have a step three, study smartly. Okay, this is very, very important how to plan your studies now onwards. So, you have to first of all read the NCRT. This is very important. You have to read NCRT thoroughly. Okay. After that, you have to make short notes out of that. Then you have to solve directly previous year questions. Don't go for any other questions. Just focus on your PYQs. And once this is done, you can solve some, sorry. Once this is done, you can solve some extra questions. Now, from where you will get extra questions, you can have any book. So, for example, if you are talking for PU2, you can take this JVIC book. Okay, this is very good book. You can just revise from here and you can, you can do extra questions from here. After that, again, you have to revise and move to the next chapter. So, this cycle you have to complete. Okay, this is optional. First, you need to do these three things for every chapter. Okay, these three steps you have to do for every chapter. Now, let's move to the next thing. Uh, yes. Now, how to improve your study habits? Okay, step four. So, first, we have done analysis. Second, we have made an uh, action plan. What all things we are going to study? Third, we have decide what? Third is our uh, the smart study. How we are actually going to study? what all things we are going to study for a chapter so that we can get in less time good marks. We have to read NCRT, we have to make notes and we have to solve PYQs. That's it, three steps. After that, let me tell you, improve your study habits now. So what is there? You have to fix a specific study time. So you have allotted four hours, right? So when is this four hours? For example, after coming from your college from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., you will study three hours and morning 5 a.m. to 6 a.m., you will study one hour so like this have a fixed time and you have to study at that same time only every day this has a very good impact on your productivity next avoid multitasking while studying don't do anything one subject so when suppose for example seven to eight you have decided to study physics so just get your physics book and physics notebook and sit down and study study on a chair and table not on your bed next use pomodoro technique always after 25 minutes of study take a five minute of break and in this five minutes do not use phone track your progress weekly reward yourself for consistency okay so just check after every week you can revise you can give a small test and check that you have actually progressed or not 
and discipline beats motivation every single time so you just need to do what you have to do okay irrespective of anything just put yourself put down yourself to do what is decided what is planned now i'll be sharing a small uh, i can say uh, time table so this you may you may not follow you may have your own time table you may have different timings of colleges and all but this is just for an idea so for example waking up at 6 am 6:30 to 7 am revising everything 7 am to 8 am getting ready for school or colleges 8 am to 2 pm might be your school time college time then 2 to 4 you can take some rest 4 to 5 you can complete your homework 5 to 6:30 you can have a physical activity 7 to 8 you can do school revision whatever is taught in the class then 8 to 9 you can have a difficult subject 9 to 9:45 you can have an easy subject 9:45 to 10:30 you can have dinner and then 10:30 you can sleep so you can see this is such a balanced time table where you have play time where you have time to revise everything whatever is taught in school you have time to take homework you have time to take nap so try to make this is just a sample time table try to make a similar time table for yourself okay now moving to the next one your mindset is very important you might have heard this uh, slogan that if you are if you are mentally strong right if your men if your mindset is very strong then you can defeat anything in this world so you have to bring that strengthening mindset so first of all remember you do not have to compare yourself with anyone the topper has got this way your friend has got higher than you your friend has got uh, full marks don't compare the results that you see is the efforts that everyone you everyone has put if you want to compare compare the efforts not the results how much time your friend is studying how much time you are studying compare that not the results okay efforts matters next focus on progress and not perfection don't don't expect that in one week only you will get full marks you have to understand that you it will grow slowly today for example today you have got five questions out of maths you have solved five questions you got correct other all questions got wrong next time it may become eight questions are correct you cannot expect that in the next exam full marks you are scoring right so improvement is what will make you uh, like will help you to grow so always focus on progress next visualize our success in the final exam okay so just imagine yourself that you are getting full marks you are getting center marks you are being called to the stage for getting uh, prizes so visualize this self so that you will be internally motivated next remember even a small consistent effort daily creates massive results okay so don't worry that okay today i am not able to study for 4 hours i will not study at all you have a party you have a function still try to make at least 1 hour of study a single day don't may, don't let any day go in this way that you haven't opened your book at all don't have this day till the next 5 months please trust me on this coming next one get guidance okay this is very very important it is very important to clear your doubts so talk to your friends talk to your teachers do group studies share your knowledge from others and give your knowledge to them okay this is very very important last step is track and adjust as i said you do not have a fixed rigid time table you have to be flexible you have to understand for example maths was your weak subject in your analysis right but by the time you have given more time your maths now maths has become strong but you have your performance in physics has gone down so just swap now okay more time has to be given to physics maths can be controlled now so you should be flexible you should understand your progress which subject you are improving which subject you need more time where you need more time so everything you have to analyze and adjust your time table this is what is this is this flexibility can actually make you a topper moving forward here please remember plenty of time is there till 4 to 5 months are there if you use every second every day every week properly you can be at the next stopper so don't have to be disheartened at all a setback can be converted to a comeback a massive comeback in fact if your efforts are on the right direction okay so remember mid term failure is just a trailer your final exam can be the blockbuster right yes so that's all i want to say i'll just revise all the seven steps here analyze your mistakes make a recovery plan revise smartly improve study habits strengthen your mindset get guidance track and adjust okay so let's not repeat the mistakes that we have done in our mid term let's try to rewrite our story in the final exam so with this 
I will be ending this session, okay? And I hope that I have really motivated you. I have given you a proper plan how you can work, and that will definitely help you to get final exams to be the topper in the final exams. If you still have any doubt, do put down in the comment section. I will definitely address to it. If you have liked this video, please comment and please share this video with all your friends.